Want to run both Windows 10 and 11 on the same PC without using a USB drive? In this tutorial, I'll show you a clean and safe method to dual boot no pen drive, no third-party bootloaders, just pure Windows tools, so without wasting any time, let's get started. First, open your browser and search for Microsoft Software Download. Click on the first link. That's the official Microsoft website. Scroll down and select Windows 11. You'll see three download options. We need the third one, the ISO method. Choose Multi-Edition ISO, then click Confirm. Now select your preferred language, confirm again, and click on 64-bit download. The ISO file will start downloading automatically. Once the download is complete, you'll need an extraction tool. You can use WinRAR or 7-Zip. I'll go with WinRAR. Search for WinRAR official site, open it, and click on download. Click download again to get the installer. After it's downloaded, close the browser. Now open File Explorer, go to your downloads folder. Right-click on the WinRAR installer and choose Run as administrator. Install the software by following the on-screen instructions. Once WinRAR is installed, right-click on the Windows 11 ISO file. Choose Extract Files, create a new folder, Click OK, and the extraction will begin. This might take a few minutes. After extraction is complete, we need to create a partition for Windows 11. Open Start, search for Disk Partition, and Launch. In my case, I only have a C drive, so I'll shrink it to make space. Right-click on the C drive and choose Shrink Volume. It'll take a few seconds. Enter the amount to shrink. I'll use around 100,000 memory, which is roughly 100.gb. Click Shrink. You'll now see unallocated space. Right-click on it and choose New Simple Volume. Click Next a few times until you reach the Name section. Rename it to Windows 11, then click Finish. After a few seconds, the partition will be created. Now close the window and make sure your Ethernet cable is disconnected. If you're using Wi-Fi, you don't need to turn it off. Open File Explorer, go to Downloads, open the Windows 11 folder, then go to the Sources folder. Find Setup.exe, right-click on it, and choose Run. As administrator, the setup will begin. Click No Thanks when prompted. Accept the terms and conditions, then click Next. Choose Install Windows Only. Now select the partition you created for Windows 11. Click Next. Installation will begin. Your system may restart several times during this process. After the first restart, you'll see two options, Windows Setup and Windows 10. Don't press anything. Windows 11 Setup will continue automatically. Once installation completes, your PC will restart multiple times. Don't panic, this is normal. If you see a 30 second countdown, press Enter on Windows 11. When the Windows 11 logo appears and setup begins, press Shift plus F10 to open command prompt. Now type the command mentioned in the video description. Hit Enter. Your system will restart. This step bypasses the login and internet requirement. Important note, if you connect to the internet during setup, there's a high chance you'll get stuck in a loop. So keep it offline for now. After restart, select Windows 11 again. Choose your country, then your keyboard layout. Skip the second keyboard option. Choose I don't have internet. Now type your name, click Next. You can set a lock screen password. I'll skip it. Disable all privacy settings. That's my usual recommendation. Click Accept. After a few minutes, Windows 11 will be ready to use. Open File Explorer. You'll see the Windows logo on the D drive. That means Windows 11 is booting from that partition. Now let's check if Windows 10 still works. Open Start, search for Advanced System Settings, and open it. Click on Startup and Recovery. Make sure the countdown timer is enabled. You can also set your default operating system here. Restart your system. From the boot menu, choose Windows 10 and press Enter. As you can see, Windows 10 boots normally. Everything works just like before. And that's it for today's video. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.